Welcome back. It's a little bit of a cloudy day out there. Some streamlining across our area. And as we get into Sunday, it's going to be looking awfully gray. It's going to be looking gray Look. and it's going to be looking much cooler uh, tomorrow. Yeah. So hopefully you got a chance to get outside and enjoy the dry weather today. Because tomorrow is not looking good. Couldn't think of a more inconvenient time than when the 5K is tomorrow. Uh, I know. Unfortunately, it's going to be cool. It's going to be damp. I think the showers are spotty in the morning. The rain gets steadier tomorrow afternoon. So fingers crossed. I was about to say, are we good for that run? It's, Maybe? I mean, it, it's going to be cloudy. Close. I, think, I think there will be some showers around, Oof. unfortunately. But the rain will get steadier as we head into tomorrow afternoon. In fact, let's take a look at your 24 as we head through the evening. Now, if you have plans this evening, you're going to be just fine. Yes, the clouds will continue to move on in. But I do expect this to remain dry, mostly cloudy skies tonight as temperatures drop down into the lower and middle 40s. As we wake up tomorrow morning, there will be clouds, and I think, yes, there will be some showers around as we head on into tomorrow morning. So for the walk run uh, in Wilbraham, unfortunately, it is looking cloudy. It is looking damp. The showers may be a bit spotty at the onset. But as we push through the late morning and especially into the afternoon, I think we are going to see these rain showers getting steadier and it's going to be much cooler tomorrow. Temperature is going to be running a good 10 to 15 degrees below where we should be for this time of year with daytime highs tomorrow only in the upper 40s and lower 50s. So not looking like a great day as we close out the weekend. Then as we head on into tomorrow evening, the rain showers will continue. I do think they start to tape off in the early morning hours of Monday morning, but still, even as we head on into the first part of the day on Monday, still may be uh, some showers around. Now, as far as rainfall amounts, now we're looking at anywhere from a half to maybe three quarters of an inch, isolated amounts approaching an inch. So we are looking at a good amount of rain from this particular system. The bulk of it looks like it will fall during the second half of the day. But if you are heading out to the Jack Rome Run Walk at Fountain Park in Wilbraham tomorrow, uh, just know that there will be showers around, especially as we get towards uh, the second half of the morning and into the beginning of the afternoon. It's going to be damp. Temperatures tomorrow only going to be in the upper 40s, lower 50s. Certainly much cooler than we saw out there today. But as we head towards the evening hours, we're looking pretty good on our MGM sky cam. Still a little bit of blue sky out there. Temperatures in the 60s here in the Springfield area get a little bit further west. We're in the lower 70s, 71, all but even Burlington at 71, also 71 right now in Syracuse. So just some thin clouds out there right now. The clouds will continue to thicken up, though, as we make our way through the evening and into the overnight. We are dry uh, through the a good portion of the overnight hours, but our next system, an area of low pressure, will be approaching as we head on into tomorrow, and that's going to bring the rain in here. And with the winds tomorrow uh, out of the east-northeast, there's just going to be that damp, raw feel in the air. Temperatures tomorrow in the lower 50s. We should be in the upper 60s. So that's going to be about 15 degrees below where we should be for this time of year. And then we'll start to moderate temperatures both Monday and especially by Tuesday. Tuesday looks like the pick of the week. A lot of sunshine. Temperatures Tuesday mid to upper 70s. And then as we head towards Wednesday, Thursday, the rain chances return each day with temperatures in the upper 60s. We'll try to dry things out as we head towards the end of next week. Let's check your forecast. Have a great evening. Glenn, over to you.